Hawaiian name for seahorse is kai olio. Kai meaning ocean and olio meaning horse. So Carol, this is a seahorse farm. Yeah, we have about 26 different species here on the farm. Does that make you a seahorse farmer? Yes, it does. Some of them are indigenous to Hawaii. Some of them come from places like Australia and Brazil. Now that's the thing that's really interesting because most of us have a natural curiosity about seahorses. That has to do with the fact that the male bear the young, is that right? That's correct. That's, How does that work? Well, the seahorse is the only animal in the entire animal kingdom in which the male has a true pregnancy. And what's true about it is that the seahorses do a beautiful dance every day. And during this dance, they'll get very close. They'll touch mm -hmm. belly to belly. They'll intertwine their tails. They'll look into each other's eyes. And the male will actually fill his pouch up with water to impress the female. And at that point, she will deposit her eggs right into his pouch. He will close up his pouch and fertilize the eggs internally. And that is what makes him the male. Wow, okay. How many babies will a male give birth to at one time? Well, there's 36 different species. Mm -hmm. And the most prolific will give birth to about 2,000 babies at once. Oh. But what's amazing about the birth is that the male actually goes into labor and it takes him about two minutes to give birth to all those babies. Wow, how long is he pregnant though? He is basically pregnant his entire life. Um, the gestation period is about 30 days. Uh -huh. And once he gives birth to the babies, he has about two minutes to rest before the female re-impregnates him with another batch of eggs. Oh. He's working hard. He's working hard, and we believe they might live as long as 20, 25 years. No kidding. What do you feed seahorses? Well, they eat shrimp. Um, our animals that are farm-raised here on the farm eat frozen shrimp. Now, seahorses in the wild would only eat live shrimp. Mm -hmm. When they're babies, they eat a tiny zooplankton called a copepod. Again, we have that natural curiosity because of that, that you know, real unique male giving birth. But um, I didn't realize we have indigenous, we have two indigenous seahorses, is that right, in Hawaii? We have two, and they're both really amazing. Uh, the first one is called Hippocampus helonus, and that helonus means hilo. It was discovered in 1909 hmm. out of Hilo Bay. When I was young, in Kanye Bay, there were quite a few seahorses. They weren't, you know, sizable. They were about maybe the ones I saw when I was a kid, an inch to two inches. And then not too long ago, we found one that my, my daughter found one that was like three, three and a half inches at, at night. It looks just like these, except it was really dirty brown. There was nothing flashy about it. But this is the same one? It's the same one. In fact, when we took these animals, they were black, just completely black. And after about two weeks, they like shed the, the dirt mm -hmm. and they turned bright red and yellow. Wow. And so they're a beautiful seahorse and they get to be close to eight inches in length. So it's, wow. it's a big animal. Wow. Yeah. What about the other one? The other, the uh, other one is also amazing. Um, seahorses are supposed to be found in shallow areas, right? Mm -hmm. Coral reefs, seagrass beds, coastal areas. Well, this seahorse is found out in the ocean, about maybe a mile or two offshore, where it's maybe a mile or two deep. And what happens is, um, for example, the opello fishermen will go out there at night and they shine their lights, right, while they're fishing. It attracts the zooplankton up, and behind the zooplankton comes these little tiny seahorses. So they're living out there in the deep ocean. What are they doing there? We have no idea because huh. they're not supposed to be there, but they are. And, and they're the surviving only... all that hungry opello. They are surviving all the hungry opello. That's uh, amazing. Yeah. Well, Carol, this is a very, very cool farm you got. Yeah. How, long, how long have you guys been doing this? We've been here since 1998. Uh-huh. There's a couple of other members of the seahorse family I've seen in aquariums around the world, which I noticed you've got here too. One's the pipefish. That's technically a seahorse? That is in the seahorse family, Signaphidae. But the most amazing one is the leafy sea dragon. Oh yeah, those yeah. are showstoppers. Huh? Those yeah. get huge. They get huge, like, you know, this big. Which is 14, 15, 18 inches? I would say close to two feet. Wow. For sure. But what's their longevity like? Uh, nobody really knows. Um, in the wild, they probably live 20, 25 years. In the wild, where do they show up naturally? They're only found in one place in the entire world, and that's in Australia southern Australia where it's very cold. Yeah, here on the farm we have animals that are close to 14 years in age. That's the neat thing about the farm. Any of us can come by and take a look at these things, huh? Anybody can come by. We have tours every day and you can see all the seahorses. You can see the babies, the pregnant males, and you can actually hold a seahorse while you're here. Well, Carol, this has been a terrific tour. Continued success.
good Thank fun. You. It's good fun to be here. Thank you. There's very much, much more to see too, right? Oh, there's a lot more to see. Well, thanks again. Thank I'm gonna you. go wander. Thank and you. And we'll Let's be go back. Over here.